Hey, it's Matt Bacon here from uh, Dropout Media. So I wanted to talk to you today just about the importance of having a good look for your band on stage. This is something a lot of people fuck up. A lot of people, you know, just kind of show up in band shirts and they're baggy and gross, kind of like the shirt I'm wearing right now. This is not a good shirt. It's not a shirt you want to wear. You know, it's kind of generic. It's more like I love Morbid Angel, but like, you know, let's be real. And so whatever, that's fine. But I know that if I want to play up with my band, I want to have my band have sort of a uniform look. Even if we're just going to wear band shirts, you got to make sure they're band shirts that are fitted or like they're band shirts that fit some sort of theme. Like I used to play in a grindcore band and the singer would wear that shirt. Or I was a singer, sorry. And I would wear my little pony shirt. And the guitar player would wear a, sh a pink shirt with a rainbow that said death metal. Um, you know, shit like that. Like, you're coordinating a look. You know, that's why, like, uh, a lot of, like, the post-black metal bands all wear button-downs. Or, like, Pelican kind of dress like well-dressed normal guys wearing V-necks. You know, you can't look like a schlub. You want to be different. You want to be special. You know, um, that being said, I think there is something to be said for putting an emphasis on your front man. You know, having them dress differently um, and kind of have a distinct aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, that's really key um, if you want, you know, people to kind of follow you and see when you come off stage to come up to you and talk to you. Again, you're trying to differentiate. You're not trying to look like another average Joe. You're trying to, you know, separate yourself. Ozzy has that quote about how you can hardly tell the difference anymore between uh, the fa the fans and the people on stage. And remember that, as hard as it is to admit to ourselves sometimes, when you play in a band, you are selling a fantasy. So be that fantasy on stage. Be the rock and roller or the country music star or the, you know, whatever. Um, and, I, and this is tricky because, and I have this conversation a lot with like serious metal bands who understand they have to have an aesthetic, but also they kind of come from a punk background and don't want to come off as like, fucking like posers and that's a super valid thing to think about because you don't want to like have someone audition for your band and explain to them no this is how we dress and then have that come off wrong and then they go tell all their friends oh we that band has a dress code like no you have to be cool about it you have to be logical about it find something that's cool and elegant if you're trying to do brainy music that sort of has punk roots, you know, look at some of the people who inspired you. Look at a band like Agalock, always kind of were well-dressed. Um, sometimes they did like button downs on stage and stuff. Look at a band maybe like Alcest. Again, very, you know, fitted shirts, V-necks, those sorts of things. Again, you don't have to look lame. You don't have to try to polish it up for a mainstream audience. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you want to have a, you, just as you want to have an aesthetic with your art, and with, you know, who your band is and who the, you know, how everyone kind of fits in photos and stuff. You also want to have an aesthetic with how you present yourself, uh, you know, on stage. Because <clears throat> here's the key. And this is the point I got into a lot of arguments about today online. You might, you might not care. And other people, a lot of people might not care. And it's not a disadvantage to not have a coordinated look on stage, but it's an advantage if you do, right? A lot of people don't coordinate their look and they end up very successful. Look at Blind Guardian, you know? Cool. But the people who do coordinate their look are giving themselves another leg up. And there's so many bands out there and so many other shows and so many other, lo you know, so many other local bullshit. Do what you can to differentiate yourself so people are going to give a shit. And if that means fucking going to Old Navy and getting some cool black shirts, that's what that means. Just a few thoughts for you.